so we're going to kind of review um, how to solve equations today. So the first step that we do when we solve an equation is we make sure it's an addition problem. And we do LCO to make sure it's an addition problem. The second step, we get rid of the constant by adding opposite. And then the third step, we get rid of the coefficient by doing the inverse. So the difference today is we're going to look at some models. So just instead of having an equation um, to start with, we're going to have a model to start with. And then we'll look at an equation from there. So for example, let's say we have a couple of these guys, a couple of these guys, and something else like this. So we don't have necessarily an equation, but we can build our own. So what I tell my kids to do is literally just look at the model to build the equation, and then you actually solve the equation on your own. So we have three of these x's, which in turn makes three x, and we have another four negative, so it's going to be and another four negatives, which is negative four. And that's going to be equal to, and then over here you can see these, there's one, two, so that's going to be two. So once we have the equation, all we have to do is to solve it like normal. So I'm going to get rid of all of this, and we'll kind of bring this equation up here to the top. So 3x plus negative 4 equals 2. So let's move all this junk, and let's actually solve that one. 3x plus negative 4 equals 2, okay? First step is to make sure it's an addition problem. We did that already. It is an addition problem. Most of the time when you build from a model, it is going to be an addition problem already. So to get rid of the constant, you add the opposite. The opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. And whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So I've got 3x equals, and 2 plus 4 is 6. To get rid of the coefficient, you do the inverse. The inverse of times 3 is going to be divided by 3. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. And 6 divided by 3 is going to be 2. Okay? So again, the, the way that you solve the equation is not going to be any different. But the only thing that's different is you're actually building this original equation from the model. Okay? So let's do another one and see what we can figure out here. So I've got a couple of these guys. Like this. that's going to be equal to two, 2 here, okay? So you can probably see as you're looking at this model, the only thing that's different is um, over here you have kind of a key with what's happening, but normally when they're gray, they're going to be negative. So we have two x's that are negative, so that really means we just have negative 2x, and that makes these guys, we got those taken care of and, which that's going to be addition, and I have another 5, 1, so it's going to be 2x plus 5, and that is equal to, there's two positive uh, 1s over here, so 2x plus 5 equals 2, that's what it's going to look like over here on this side. Again, after you have the model all done, we have negative 2x plus 5 equals 2, I'm going to get rid of that, and we'll just solve it. Negative 2x plus 5 equals 2. So same situation, draw our line. First thing we got to get rid of is the constant, because it already is an addition problem. So if you get rid of the constant, you add the opposite. So plus negative 5 over here, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. Get rid of those guys. So on this side, I've got negative 2x. And then 2 plus negative 5, they're not on the same team, so they battle. It's going to be negative 3. Okay. The last step that I need to take is to get rid of the coefficient, and I need to do the inverse. The inverse of times negative 2 is divided by negative 2, and whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. This one looks a little funky, but it's really not that bad. Um, 3 over 2, we can go two ways here. We can change it into a decimal, or we can just leave it as a fraction. I personally would like to leave it as a fraction. so. 3 divided by 2, 2 goes into 3 one time with 1 half, so 1 half left over. So 1 and a half, and a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So x would be equal to 1 and a half. Okay, the main thing that you have to remember here is really the model is just there for you to build the equation. So just like we said earlier, use these model pieces just to build your equation and then solve like normal. 